Remembrance Day may be on Sunday, but tonight people in the GTA are already honoring those who've fallen in battle. Stephen D'Souza shows you a performer who's found his own way to remember their sacrifice. I can't be sure, but I'm sure that I did. And a spider old man, he was only a kid. Come At this ceremony, there were no bagpipes, no bugles, just a man and his guitar. Memory is one of the few things that we have um, that can provide us with some redemption. John Brooks was at Bishop Morocco Anybody Thomas Merton High School. The local folk singer has a CD filled with songs of war, but instead of focusing on battles, he sings about people. Does your heart know the way home from Kigali? That last line is from a song about Romeo Dallaire, the Canadian general who witnessed the Rwandan genocide. Brooks' music touches conflicts throughout the years, including the current war in Afghanistan. My interest is to present in, an, in the most clear and objective manner the full disturbing grey truth. That truth was on the minds of those at Queen's Park today, as Premier Dalton McGuinty honoured fallen soldiers and their families. Another traditional ceremony was held at the U of T as well. But for students here, it was Brooks' music that brought home the message of Remembrance Day. Through all these stories, you know, we can say that freedom is something we can't take for granted. Teenagers, music is, and media is a big part of our lives. Like, we do everything according to, like, what everybody finds cool and everything. And today, what was cool was Brooks's new twist on an old poem. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto. As the